Welcome back, folks, to the Burnout game. Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duelist. In the last episode, we did that, and we did that. Anyway, this now, School of the Master. As you can tell, I've had a lot of drink tonight. Oh, but I got work in the morning, so I'm making myself something to eat. It'd be nice. It has a 20-minute time limit on it. I'm going to intend to complete a part before then. It definitely wasn't that, like, Jigsaw turned up and just went, You've been slacking on your Let's Play channel, even though you work full-time and try and have a social life. For you to live, you must do a Let's Play part in 20 minutes or less, or your food will run cold. Live or eat food cold. Make your choice. No, uh, I just... That sod it. I'm wasting time. Anyway, Cyrus and Jaden watch Cyrus' brother Zane mercilessly defeat another pro duelist on TV. <sighs> My brother just hasn't been himself. And I just can't stand to see him like this. He does seem angrier these days. But I think the whole bad guy thing is just an act. <laughs> you'll see, Jaden, on that, you'll see. Ever since Zane changed his image, he's gotten way more popular. I guess, but it's still hard to watch. After his duel, Zane received a letter that read, Truesdale, meet me up at the top of the world. Zane climbed a tall mountain to a secluded dojo where a familiar face waited for him. Hello, master. I should have known you'd, I'd find you here. Or that's a fly. Piss off, fly. There's a fly. I heard it. I heard it in my left ear. Bloody fly. I hope you didn't call me to lecture me because I don't have time for nonsense. You know why I called you here, Truesdale. Are you sure you want to go through with this? Of course. Now get your game on. Uh, you kids are still using that phrase, right? You must realize that I can play a card you know all too well. My Cyber End Dragon. I am well aware of your dragon's power, Truesdale. I'm the one who gave it to you, remember? Well, allow me to remind you about the way it was. You are the one only heir to an ancient birthright called the Cyber Legacy. I was proud of the duelist you became. I never regretted handing you that card. That is, until now. This is sounding like a lecture. And I told you I'd down the time. I'm here for one reason, and one reason only. To get what's coming to me, the rest of the Cyber Legacy. Ah, uh, yes. There once existed a group of cards that came known as the Deck of the Underworld. But it has been locked away, and with good reason. It contains a dangerous force. Spare me the stories. I want those cards. Never! No! You'll never get him, Zane, now. He's, he's done it now. You ain't getting those. Anyway, yes, defeat him. Defeat him, Zane. So, Zane versus Chancellor Shepard. This duel I actually quite enjoyed when I watched it. It was quite nice. You know, two cyber decks going against each other. Because uh, Chancellor Shepard's deck, also a cyber deck. While Zane uses cyber dragons... Shepard's deck uses Cyber Ogres, so it's a nice combo. Anyway, of course, my first turn, no Cyber Dragon. Why well, am I not surprised at that? He has not played a monster. Okay, so I have Cyber Dragon's Vi, Proto Cyber Dragon, Cyber Dragon Dry, Cyber Repair Plant, so we can't use that yet, called the Haunted, and Cyber Summon Blaster. Each time a machine type monster is special summon, inflict 300 points of damage to your opponent. That's a nice one. I'm going to play that now. I believe Dry is a good one here to play. Yes, I will actually summon Dragon Dry. Yes, point at it. Point at his power. <laughs> Attack. There you go. Damage. What would it have been? Uh. Ah, it's crap. Never mind. 
Still, it's an 1800 attack point beast stick. I'll take it. Uh, yep, yeah, I'll activate Cyber Summon Blaster here. Just in case I special summon a Cyber uh, well, Machine Monster. He's got Cyber Stein! Oh, God! Yeah, take damage from that, you! Oh, good Lord! He spent a lot of life points playing that. He spent a lot of life points. So Cyber Stein, you can special summon a fusion monster by paying 5,000 life points. That is a lot of life points to play. That is a lot. That is a lot you can play. Right, Cyber, okay. Can't play both effects. I'll do this though. And I want probably ordinary cyber dragon at this point. That's proto. Well, I messed up there. Okay. Uh, field, field, there. Okay. Uh, well, that, that's not very good for me. Okay. Well, I hope you special summon two more things so I win. I mean, to be honest, he did take a very big risk. In summoning Cyber Dragon's Vi. He did. Oh no, it's not Cyber Dragon's Vi. Cyber Ogre number two. Here's some more damage. One more and I win. Oh, I should have. If I had Cyber Dragon out of one. Damn, why didn't I pick it? Here comes Cyber Ogre number two again. Whoa, you die. Well done, Shepard. You dummy. <laughs> he killed himself. He actually killed himself! <laughs> oh, Shepard. Yeah, why don't I just go get the, the deck of the underworld? Why not? You just try to kill yourself, you fool! Well, what do you know? The underworld deck. Truesdale, hold on! Take this with you! A medal? You wanna know where I've been all these months? Traveling to schools and duelist leagues in the four corners of the earth. You know why? Because I'm organizing the ultimate tournament! Which will be the ultimate tournament until the next series of Yu-Gi-Oh! at least. Because we always have an ultimate tournament somewhere. Because everyone likes tournaments. Honestly, I do like a good tournament, so yeah, I'll take it. And what am I holding? Your ticket! No one can enter the tournament without one of my medals, Truesdale. It'd be in your best interest to join. I suggest you do. This is the opportunity of a lifetime. I'm not giving up on you, Truesdale. If I can't bring you back, maybe your friends can. Well, <laughs> Shepard screwed himself there. Can I just say that? We got Cyber Esper. That's kind of nice. Uh, Cyber Ogre 2 is pretty good as well. Yeah, I'll take that. Right. With that DLC out of the way, Blinded by the Light. Jaden versus Chaz. We're getting right into Season 2 here. And, uh... Here's the reason why Jaden and Chaz are dueling. After Aster defeat Jaden, Sartorius traveled to Duel Academy in order to assess the school's students. While on the island, Sartorius came across Chaz Princeton. I am known as Sartorius. I traveled quite a ways to meet you. Yeah? Why'd you want to meet me? Simple. I could use someone like you. I'll tell you what, I have an idea. Why don't you show me what you've got? Perhaps I'll sign you on as my client. I manage professional duelists. Ever hear of Aster Phoenix? You manage him? Indeed. Now let's see if you're ready for the pros. Chaz was defeated. And Sartorius took over Chaz's mind using the mystical powers of the my mysterious Light of Destruction. Sartorius also forced Chaz to join, join the Sinister Society of Light organization. Later on, Dr. Crowler was shocked to learn that Chancellor Shepard had returned to announce a new tournament. Thanks for keeping my seat warm while I've been away. I beat myself in a duel before. You don't need to know about that, Crowler. But now I'm back, and there's important business to discuss. Like, how I definitely didn't got, get beat by Zane. By 
losing myself and taking life point damage. That didn't happen. What can I assist you, sir? Gather all the students. I have an important announcement to make that affects everyone. It's going to affect your lives. About as much as it affected mine because I got owned by Zane because I ran into his own trap card. Even though I knew it was there. I suck as a duelist. The newly returned Chancellor Shepard addressed the entire student body. First of all, it's good to be back. I have a special gift to offer all of you. A gift? Man, it's good to have Shepard back. Really? Like, no gift? No gift since he's gone. He'd been gone for months. I'm going to be honest, Crowler doesn't seem so like someone who would gift people stuff. Well, everyone except Jaden, that is. To be honest, I'm not surprised because I wouldn't gift Jaden anything at this point. I give the GX Dueling Tournament a competition for the next generation of Master Duelists. It's like nothing you've ever experienced before. And it starts right now. Duelists from around the globe will converge here. Duelists and professionals are welcome. Students, students even. Yeah, you're welcome too. Ah, I messed up. Never mind. Who's gonna notice? When the dust settles and only one duelist remains, he'll be known as the world's greatest until he battles Yugi in season five. I mean, actually, hang on. Jaden doesn't even win this. Spoilers. Ah, well. That's me. I'll beat all the pros. Jaden, you don't... You have, like, one battle in this. It's actually, spoilers, won by Chaz. Chaz wins it. Chaz took advantage of the tournament in order to challenge Jane to a rematch. However, Jane was late to their duel because he was busy searching for Chaz's old jacket. His most favorite thing in the world because it's black and ragged and stuff. And has stains, apparently. Seriously, check the anime out. It had stains and Chaz was happy with those stains. To be honest, I understand if I wear anything black, it, it, it's quite good at holding stains out. Anyway, <clears throat> Jane hoped to use the jacket to beat Chaz's mind control. Yeah, Chaz, I know you've been sort of mind controlled by a mysterious evil fortune teller, but I have a jacket! Wear it! To be honest, that would make my mind change completely, so, you know. Hey, it's not really a jacket, it's a trench coat, honestly. It's a trench coat. That's what it is. What's your problem? Did you forget or just chicken out? Actually, I was going through your old stuff and lost track of time. I found your old jacket and I thought you might want to try it on again. Put that away. I know what you're trying to do and it won't work. I won't go back to the way I was. 20 minutes later, he does. The old Chaz doesn't exist anymore. I've seen the light. But if that's true, then why does part of me want to wear that jacket? If you change your mind, I'll be right here for you, Chaz. Fine, I'll use it to wipe the mess once I beat you. Let's duel. Chaz wiping up messes. Two of those ones that he made, but still onto his own jacket. Dude, I own some expensive jackets. Not as expensive as yours, because your family is bloody millionaires, but still, expensive jackets. I would not want a single stain on it, let alone, oh my god. My food is frozen at this point, I think. 20 minutes. 20 minutes over what I wanted to get this done on. Like, it's nearly 11 o'clock at this point at night. I need to go to sleep. I have work early in the morning. Cheers, Legacy of the Duelist. Cheers. Right, Pot of Duality, Ojama Country. Got some nice cards here. Nice cards here. Nice cards indeed. Right. Black. Right. Pot of Duality. I got green. I've got polymerization. That's quite good. And Sparkman. Do I want Sparkman or polymerization? I want Sparkman. I want some actual damage. So I'll take Sparkman. Yeah. And I'll play Ojama Country. 
So a Jama country allows you to... Thank you, he's not in defense. Screw you. Uh, but yeah, it allows you to uh, send in a Jama card from your hand of the graveyard. And then changes the... Oh. Bugger, 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 bitch. That's you. Right. Jama blue, I guess. Why not? Right. But anyway, it allows you to... Um, send in a Jama card from your hand to the graveyard, and all monsters on the field's attack and defense points change. It's quite nice, at least. Jama blue. What do I want here? What do I want? I want... It's like... Guess another blue. Why not? What blue would be nice? And a yellow. Cool. Yay! Get back. Right. Oh, balls! No, not Metaphys on Dragon, not him. No. Right. I do have a way to get rid of him. Polymerization. I want Ojama Knight! So I'm going to get rid of Black. And black. Why not? Get rid of Ajama black and black. If I get Delta Hurricane Soul Charge, I'll be able to use those Ajama blacks. That'd be quite nice. Right. So, attack position! <laughs> anyway, it's destroyed by... It's only if it's destroyed by battle instead of the Great Guard. So it needs to be destroyed. I summon him in attack mode. Then I activate Ojama Country. Get rid of Ojama Green. Guess I'll take Blue. Summon it in attack mode. And now, all my Ojamas are super bleeding tough. Screw your bloody Metaphys Arm Dragon. Here's Ojama Blue for damage. Here's another Ojama Blue for damage. So, now, I do have some nice resources to keep Ojama Country going. I like that. I like that a lot. Silent Doom. Metaphys Arm Dragon. That'll save his ass, wouldn't it? Git. Utter, utter, git. Right. Okay. That's really annoying. <laughs> that is so annoying! Ah, I can't do anything about that! I really can't! I can't get rid of his defense card. Damn it! White Dustion! He's not going to attack with it, of course he's not. But he is now going to leave Ojama Knight wide open to kick his ass. Go, Ojama Knight! Murder him! Or... No, I don't have Soul Charge just yet. I want to keep that when I have Soul Charge. That was a dumb idea. I don't know why you'd do that. No! No! I don't want to attack it! Oh, for God's sake. Why am I so bad? No! Alright. Kick its ass now! Kick it! Like uh, All right, all right. Come on, Chaz. Let's see what you got to beat me with. Mystical Space Typhoon, probably. Here comes another Metaphor Sun Dragon. Uh, swords. <laughs> Pissing swords. Right. I can't get rid of either of those. That's the annoying part. Right. I'm going to set Bacinatrix in defense mode. And I hope, I hope, that you, at some point, run that into it. Go on, run a monster into it. Go ahead. Make my day. No. Mirror Force. That is quite nice. That is actually very nice. Right. If you don't know, we'll actually activate Mystic Walk on Bacinatrix. Defense. Ah, never mind. Right, I'm switching Ojama Blue to defense mode. 
I want to. I want your monster. Right, that's an Alexandrite dragon. You're attacking. Do I let this attack go through? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. I will activate Ajama Blue, my brave god. Ajama Delta Hurricane, and I'm also taking my last Ajama Blue. Okay, I need more bait. I need more of a bait. I need more of a bait. Alright. Everything goes into defense mode. Even you, Ojama Green. Right. Hopefully this will bait out his monsters. If it baits out his monsters, I win. Bait him out! Tribute to the Doomed. Okay. There goes him. Yes. Go on, switch into attack mode. Ah, he's got one. He's left one in defense. One in defense. And that saved him. And another sword spell. Oh boy. Oh boy. I need Ojama Black. I need Ojama Black. Where's Ojama Black? Why can't I get him? All right. <clears throat> well, with that out of the way, it's time for a German knight again to step in to the field. So, here we go again. A German black kicking ass again. Right. Attack mode, attack mode, and attack mode. Damn it, I prob I actually could have used Ajama Country to get Ajama Black, and I probably could have won there. Alright. I want to get an Ajama card. Why would you do that? That was dumb of you. You do realize I do have Ojama Knight. That was silly of you. Why would you do that? No! I don't, no, I don't want to get an Ajama Delta Hurricane. Give me it back. No! Okay, fine, Ojama Blue. Bring me in back. Defense mode, why not? I still think I po probably do maybe win. If he keeps it in attack mode. Which he won't, because he's an ass. So he's going to pop in defense mode again. White Tiger Summon. Oh, God. Screw both your cards. Mirror Force! Boom! Take that, you... My food is 30 minutes dead at this point. I still can't bloody kill him because he's got Mirror Force. Right. Please don't have a monster. 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 You are a massive dingbat, but I still will beat you. I will still beat you. Because do you know what? I've got soul charge in my hand. Screw right off. Thank you. Ojama Knight, welcome back to the game. Shine Knight, you ain't getting rid of him that easily. And now he's about to kill you. No! What the f- Oh, because of bloody soul charge. Yeah, attack him. Go ahead. Go ahead. A jar on blue. High activate ability. I want a jar on black. And I want a jar on delta hurricane. Because if I want to kill him, I bloody blood damn well will. Alright. He's got a defense card. He has a defense card. Okay. I summon Ojama Black. I activate Ojama Delta Hurricane. I get rid of your stuff. I attack with Ojama Black. I attack with Ojama Green. I attack with a person who's just wearing pants. Take that, Chas! Thank you very much. I don't care about his bleeding shirt. Victory for me. I got White Ninja, I got Stray Lambs, I got Big Bang Shot, hurrah. 50 odd minutes, and I'm probably spending about 20 of that. And 
cold. My food is now 30 minutes cold. So I'm going to need to reheat again. Oh, anyway, guys, I'm going to go for a break here. But the next episode, let's play Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duelist. I will be less drunk, probably less mad, and less malnourished. Thank you for the look of me. Being malnourished is probably not a bad thing. I'm a bit of a fat bastard at this point. Anyway, I will see you then.